Hi and welcome to I Can Make That. This is Jen and I wanted to show you today how you can make a very cute light up card like this. And now you can see that it's got the flame in the middle lit up. And there's a few ways to do light up cards. You can use Chibitronics, which is one of the more popular companies out there. They have the light stickers, but you do need to have the lights, the copper tape, and a battery uh, to do the different circuits. Which nice thing is you can put as many lights as you want onto your path to light up different parts of a card, which is really nice. But it can get pretty pricey as well to make a card using this. I found something over the holidays and I'm going to keep my eye out for this in the future. They had Recollections, which is uh, Michael's brand, had these Christmas cards. They were light-up cards. Now they were charging $10 for two of them, which is pretty expensive if you were buying them full price. But if you keep your eye on them and you can get them for 60% off or even when they go on 80% off, which they are right now, uh, you can pick up one of these for $2. Inside of the kit is a lot of useful stuff. They've got the double-sided tape, two lights on circuits with batteries and then you also get the tall foam to build your card and then it comes with a whole bunch of well all the parts you need to make the card inside so in this case it came with stars it came with a card the two card backs and all of this other information now I I like all of this and they do make cute cards, but what I was really interested in was simply this part right here. Even at paying a dollar per each of these, that is a really good deal. You're getting your light, your battery, and instead of copper tape, you have wire that you can use right from the start. So this was worth it for me just to pay the $2 and get two of these. Also, one of the things I like is that with this, the circuit is is set. You're not going to worry about having your copper tape not pushed down nicely. It's going to stay connected. You push the button, your light lights up. Once you take out the battery thing. So, and it's a bright light too. So I want to show you how I put together a card. Clear this off. Okay, so to build my card the final card looks like this. I started out with a blank canvas and I stamped a scene using the Lawn Fawn stamps. Isn't this a cute set? It's called Christmas Dreams. I absolutely love it. Um, it's got all the different parts so you can put together whatever you want. I built it like this using the tree and the clock and the candle and the little fish and all of that. So you can build whatever scene you want. Another stamp set that is extremely useful is this one here. This is a, um, it's called Push Here. And this is gonna come in so handy for every kind of motion card, light up card, anything. You've got shake me, slide me, push me, press me, pull. Look inside, open the flap, uh, lift the flap, all of these. And so it, it's gonna be really, really handy. And I'm using the Push Here for this card. So I built the scene and then I, in the fireplace, which is the fire is what I wanted to light up, I just took my piercer tool and I went in and I made holes and kind of dragged my piercer together to connect these holes and make lines in the fire. And that way, I mean, I suppose you could use an X-Acto knife, but this is what I did. And that way I've got my little streaks of flame that I want lit up. So after I finished doing that, I adhered the red to the back. Now I could have just cut a circle out here for the flame, that would have worked too, but I actually went in and I pierced through and made the holes go through. Um, it gave a little bit of a red background when the light shine, uh, shone through, so I like that. I also popped up the kitty with a little pop dot just to give it a little dimension, but other than that everything else I had flat. So to build a card, you can use the bases that they give you in that kit. You could also just use any card stock to do it. Um, in this case, since I want this card to open up, I'm not going to use the card stock that came with the kit. 
I'm just going to use a plain piece of 110 pound cardstock cut in half. It's just an A2 size. So I've got this, this, and this together, and they're going to get layered onto this. And what you need to do is build up the background. So I've glued this top piece down to this, and now what I'm going to do is go through and just kind of scratch a little bit onto this white cardstock below. It's hard to see, but there's a little mark there. The reason I want to do that is because I want to make sure that my light is placed in the right spot. So I'm just going to peel off the adhesive on the back and stick this light down right over those marks I just made. So now I have everything else here connected. Now the one thing you have to do is position this where you want to push. So on my card I have a spot here that kind of works for that. You also have to remember that this foam tape is wide enough that you have to make sure you're going to be able to fit it inside the card base. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to take off my first block of this. And I'm putting it in far enough that this is going to not be a problem when I go to put it down. Okay, so there's that. And then I know I need my next one, which you can cut. I'm going to place this one like so. Okay, now I have my edges that this is going to sit on top, just like this. And the they have built these foam pieces to be the perfect size to go next to this so that when you push, you can turn it on without having too much pressure on here. So they've already done that work for you if you're able to get your hands on that. Okay, so I like where that's placed, so all I'm going to do is take some scotch tape and just tape my wires down so that that stays right where it is. So that's not going anywhere. And I'm also going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. You could use double-sided tape. I am paranoid about it moving. I just want to make sure that this thing never moves. Now, of course, they've built the sides up to hold the battery as well, so the height is set so that you can do um, put the battery and everything can be fine. So now all you have to do is finish off And you do want to go fully around all the sides because if you don't, the light kind of reflects out of the card and it just doesn't look as nice. So you want to make sure that it's on this one. I cut it a little too big. I'm just going to cut this a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so now I have my full border. This is set. And now I can peel all of this off. Or I can stamp my press here, but I'm going to do that afterwards because I want to make sure I put it right over the button. Now I'm going to place this over right where I want it. Okay, now I can feel where the button is on this. Okay, so I'm going to put my push here, right there, and there we have it, done. So you've got a light up card, and you can see the side, it is a thicker card, it's not real thin, you would need a bubble envelope if you were mailing it. I don't even know that I would mail this unless I put it inside of a box or something because, you know, if it rolls through and gets turned on, it'll be dead by the time it gets there. 
and um, but you can put it in a larger envelope if you're just going to give it to somebody. Show you this again. And there you go. So you want to keep your eye out for the card packs when those kinds of things come out. Keep an eye out for something that's a light-up card kit. If they come out with them again at another holiday, I don't, I haven't seen them for Valentine's Day, but maybe Easter. I'm not sure. But um, keep your eye out for those, and keep your eye on when they go on sale. And uh, I would definitely snag these up quick when you see them because they are a good deal. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.